Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, my AutoCAD tip this time is that you should try DraftSite. What, Lynn? You love AutoCAD. I know, but I also love my money. So unless you have a money tree growing in the backyard or a great big huge budget for software that you just don't know what to do with, I highly recommend that you give DraftSite a try, which, by the way, millions of people have done. And you should know that DraftSite is completely DWG compatible, so nobody needs to know. It could be our secret. <laughs> I thought that I would take you through what it feels like to make the move from AutoCAD to DraftSite. And uh, so you can see for yourself. And uh, I, I'll share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that's kind of what I do, isn't it? So what you're looking at right now is what it looks like to open DraftSite for the very first time. I haven't changed the interface at all. And you'll see that on the right-hand side of the screen here, I've got the properties palette, which you can get rid of if you don't want it there. You'll see at the top of the screen, it tells me that the name of the default drawing is called No Name, which I personally find amusing. And uh, just like the wrapper. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up another drawing. You'll see we have the drawing tabs right here. You'll see we've got the ribbon. It's even, you know, you'll even see that the workspace is called drafting and annotation. You feel, very, you should feel very comfortable right away. And what I'm looking at, this is an AutoCAD drawing file that I just opened up. It had no problem doing that. And the command window by default is located in the lower left-hand corner of the screen where God intended it to be. You can move it if you want to, of course, but... So what's it feel like? I want to execute commands. Of course, you can execute them from the ribbon and it, some of the things are not in the location you're used to with AutoCAD. So it will take you some time to relearn that. I'm not going to lie. Or if you like to type and you know the commands by heart, you can type them in as well. Exactly the same way you would inside of AutoCAD. Then I'm drawing a line, la la la. Um, or I can draw a circle, C for circle, no surprise, la la la. Very easy, very low stress, right? Now, I'd like to point out, what if I want to do an erase? So I type in E for erase. Now, I want you to remember, AutoCAD was, was, was designed like almost 40 years ago. It's been around a long time. Before there was a delete key on the keyboard, by the way. So they used um, the erase. They made up a command called erase. Well, commands nowadays use delete to get rid of things because they're newer and we have a delete key on the keyboard and DraftSite is a new, fresh and lightweight program. And so uh, they use delete instead of erase because they, it would be silly to use erase. But I, I know erase, so I typed in E, what did it do? It did a delete because it has everything mapped to the AutoCAD command. So for example, if I wanted to do a purge, I type in purge, it actually knows that purge, can you see that's in the lower left-hand corner? It executes a command called clean in draft site. I don't need to know that. It knows it. I don't need to know that. So you can still use the commands that you are used to, no problem. It's easy to make the switch from AutoCAD to draft site. It will do the work for you, which is really, really fabulous. All right, what else have I got for you? You'll see, of course, we have model space and paper space, the layout tabs. Once again, very similar. And across the bottom of the screen, we have the status bar. Not nearly as congested as the AutoCAD status bar. Thank goodness. But what have I got down here? We have Snap and Grid and Ortho and Polar. And we have eSnap. That's the same as Object Snap. So you can set those up. eTrack. That's the same as Object Tracking. Once again, not everything is exactly the same as it is in AutoCAD. <laughs> For all that money difference, you'll get used to it. <laughs> you'll get used to that letter difference. A dimension bounding box, you know, I'll talk about that when we get into dimensioning. And then Q input, well, that's what happens when um, you'll see the input that shows up on the screen there. That's the same as dynamic input inside of AutoCAD. And then dynamic CCS is the same as dynamic UCS in AutoCAD for the user coordinate system. Here they have the uh, custom coordinates coordinate system. It's not exactly the same, works the same. And then we, here we also have an annotation scaling, right? So, uh, for example, if I come up here and I select this viewport, it will tell me down here that the scale factor for that is a half inch equals a foot. And I could come up here and select it and change the scale factor and so on and so forth very easily. Now, over on the right, and oh, I left one out, which is actually the coolest one on here. And you'll actually find that there are quite a few tools in DraftSite that they don't have in AutoCAD, like Power Trim. 
although I think they added one recently, probably because I went crazy over it <laughs> earlier on. I was begging for it forever. Um, but there's some really great tools that live in DraftSite that don't live in AutoCAD. This is a perfect example, TB layers. What is that, Lynn? What is it? Should I tell you or should I save it? All right, I'll tell you. I'm gonna do a right click and I'll show you what TB layers is. I can go in and I can set up layers for specific objects. For example, I want my all my arcs to go on a specific layer, all my blocks to go on a specific layer. I want maybe I want all of my my text to go on a specific layer. All my hatch patterns or my dimensions or whatever to go on specific layers. I can set that all up ahead of time and it will all automatically populate for me. I don't have to keep changing my current layer around. What? Think of all the time that's gonna save you. So yeah, you're gonna lose a little tiny bit of time relearning this new software, but you're gonna gain some time with these cool new features. I love that. All right, what else have I got going on? Well, I told you that, you know, it's got the ribbon up here, but some of you I know love the classic workspace inside of AutoCAD, which they, got rid of and then they made it really hard for you to find and then they made it like impossible for you to find. Now it's very easy for you to uh, switch back and forth. Very low stress. Okay, I'm gonna go back over to drafting and annotation though. I did wanna point out that this was originally, that draft site was originally set up, uh, it was originally created by the company that makes SolidWorks, which is a great product and for their for their users which is mechanically focused so when you wander in here you're going to recognize right away that there are a lot of mechanical commands like look right here there is an entire tab focused on mechanical and you're going to be like if you're not in the mechanical industry you're going to go Ugh, what's up with that <laughs> if you are a mechanical you're going to be in heaven you can turn that off if you don't like it. They are adding a lot of AEC tools and uh, you'll see right here, it's switched over to a couple of mechanical options. Um, you can turn all those off so they don't bug you if you're not in the mechanical space, but I do wanna tell you that they are in there. But you know what else is in there? All those commands that you know and love. Most of those commands are probably in there as well. So you should be able to get your jobs done and if you're concerned, you can download a trial version for 30 days for free and try it all out to make sure you can get your jobs done, to make sure that you can get comfortable in there. You don't spend any money. You can give it a try. All right, I think that's good for now. And I think that I will come back another time and show you some other cool things inside a draft site. And you'll see what it's like to make the move from AutoCAD to draft site. There you go. So my question to you, is what are you gonna do with all that extra money? Because it'll actually cost you less per year than it does per month for AutoCAD. And you can buy a perpetual license if you want. You don't have to do it on subscription. You don't have to do it per year. Yes, oh yeah. <laughs> the choice is yours. The choice is yours. All right, so hey, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. From now on, they're gonna be draft site tips. Oh yeah, all right. Have a great rest of the week.